usaka tingog usa ka katawhan Cebu Catholic Television Network Network Live gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center kini ang balita Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Mga negosyante mo abad ay magmalampuson ang panarong pambansa ng ipahigayon din sa nakbayan sa Sugbo. PRO7 mo deploy sa mga sakop sa kapulisan sugod karong biyernes. Ngod to ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyusang puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami mo hatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita, muabag ang mga magpapatigayon ng sa Cebu City Government aron magmalampuson ang ipahigayon nga palarong pambansa 2024 karong Hulyo matod ni Cebu City Sports Commissioner Jan Pahes mao kini ang ilang nasabutan uban ang kadagkuan sa Cebu Chamber of Commerce and Industry ug uban pa nga mga stakeholders mutabang ang business community pinagi sa paghatag og special nga discount ug kalihukan ngadto sa mga atleta muhatag usab ang pipila kanila ang city tour packages og discount into sa transportation rentals na panglantawan usab ni Pahis nga pinaagi sa halapad nga sporting event mulambo usab ang pipila ka mga patigayon mao nga sa mao nga kalihukan nga pahimusla usab sa mga katawhan Usa kadlaw ang kadiwa nga ni a ipahigayon sa ilang buhatan dinhi sa dakbayan sa Sugbo. Kini aron tabangan ang mga konsumidor sa mga agricultural products nga nagsagubang karon sa kamahal sa palaliton. Ang kasayuran ni hatod ni Bepsocom intern Clyde Delda. Gipahigayon sa National Irrigation Administration ang programang kadiwa sa Nia Cebu sulod sa ilang compound sa Barangay Banilad, Dakbayan sa Sugbo. Kini usa ka inisyatiba sa maong ahensya, isip usa sa mga kasulbaran sa problema sa inflation rate, kagisagubang sa mga konsumidor. Sa ilang kadiwa kagahapon, gipang baligya ang mga produkto gikan sa mga asosasyon sa mga farmers nga gitabangan sa NIA7. Sa Malangning Farmers Association gikan sa Barangay Sudlundos, dakbayan sa Sugbu nga abunda sa mga utanon o lagotmon. Actually, sir, uh, dapat masustain na mo ang kadiwa sa niya because this is a program of our administrator and kinahanglan na mo siya i-launch last year, na-launch na siya and then we need to sustain. So kinahanglan mi mag magkadiwa. Una kining gilusad sa Sugbo o gisundan kini dito sa probinsya sa Bohol o ubang kasikbit ng mga lalawigan sa rehiyon. Naninguha ang NIA Cebu nga mapadayon ang maong kalihukan ngadto sa ubang mga kalungsuran sa probinsya Matagbuan. Nakita ning usa sa mga namalit ug utanon sa kadiwa nga nakatabang ang maong programa human na sinati ang kamahal sa mga palitonon sa merkado. Tanom sa stock sir, so nanong pra lang kadiri kay mas barato mas sa karon. Kwan sa init sad kaayo nya manaamay mas duol pa diri na lang. Usa ang kadiwa sa mga programa sa NIA ubos sa kasamtangang liderato aron matabangan ang mga maguuma pinaagi sa pagbaligya sa mga lokal nilang produkto. Clyde Delda, Bipsucom Intern, CCT and News. Bagong Emergency Management Building sa Dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu, tinguhang matukod karong tuiga. Ano na kinibudget ni Adtong Miaging Tuig pa apan ang disinyo ni ini mao'y nakalangan. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod sa ato ang Bipsucom Intern nga si F. Arindayin. Gitinguha karong tuiga sa City Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office kon CDRMO nga mapatukod na ang bagong emergency management building ni adtong nilabay pa nga tuig na andam na ang budget apan wala paghihapon maimplementar tungod kay nalangan sa disenyo nadugay sa pagfinalize ang City Engineering Office sa disenyo tungod kay gisulsi kini nug maayo kay gipilan og mga features sa green building ug paggamit sa solar panels uh, features of the building di na kayo mo gamit og kuryente Kaya mo gamit na sa taong solar. So, uh, ato ni Gihimo, mura ba green building, mahal man good, niya, delicate ang design mo ng nalangay-langay ang, ang, ang atong city engineering sa pag-finalize sa 
design sa building. And then, uh, nausab na nga. Lagit nausab sa disenyo sa maong building, mao ang pagbutang og tanker nga musaw sa uwan, aron adunay magamit nga tubig sa katalagman. Analangay sa design. No? Kay, giusab na ito ang design sa building, uh, regeneration nga siya nga uh, design. What do you mean by that? Uh, we will catch the rain, then, then, uh, some of the features of the building di na kayo mo gamit o kuryente. Sa maong building, matingob na usab ang opisina sa Lapu-Lapu Rescue, Bureau of Fire o City Traffic Management System. Kung diin dili na usab ipahigayo ng ubang mga training sa mga departamento ng may disaster management. Ini nga building, Lapu-Lapu City Emergency Management Building. No? Nga nag-house sa uh, Of course, uh, Lapu-Lapu Rescue, Bureau of Fire, or CTMS. Now, what we're, do, what we're planning is we will uh, incorporate, we will dine sa building ang um, training center. No? Training center. And then number two, we will also have the other departments nga, na ay disaster response like CSWDO, no? City Health. Para usa na lang ka-building. If you notice, sa Lapu-Lapu, nagkagamura na, nagkagamay ng mga building. So, nagkagamay ng opisina, nagdako ang serbisyo sa katawahan. Nagkinahanglan, nagdaka nga ng opisina. So, Banyat. Nakita ni Banyasya nga nanginginahanglan na o dagang opisina ang Dakbayan. Ilabi na karoon nga kadaghanan na ang serbisyo ang ilang gidalit. F. Arendayan, Bipsocom Intern, CCTN News. Ikatakdang ibutang sa managlahing bahin sa rehiyon ang mga sakop sa kapulisan garong biyernes nunod sa pag-obserbar sa Simana Santa. Matod sa tipamaaba sa PRO7 nga si Police Lieutenant Colonel Gerald A. Spilari nga ni Aning Panahona laumang mudagsa ang mga mupauli na sa ilang tagsatagsa ka mga lugar. Mao nga dili sila mga mukumpiyansa karong nga naglaray na ang mga katawhan o nga mangunguot aron mapahimuslan ang nga panahon sa bakasyon. Kini bisan pa man ugwa sila na dawat nga seryosong hulga sa seguridad nunot sa sunod semana gitahasan sa PRO7 ang mga sakop nga magbutang og mga road marshal sa mga dagkong karsada aron aduna usay maduulan ang mga tao kon mangayo man og tabang. Natanggong sa prisuhan ng usaka lalaki humangiingong ng scam ngadto sa mga delivery riders nga gibaligya ang ilim nung makahubog. May reklamo sa kapulisan ang usaka delivery rider tungod kay sa binuhatan sa dinakpan nga si Griman Luis Malinao matod ni Police Major Jonathan Tanillo ipi sa Mambaling Police Station nga ang dinakpan ni Bok sa biktima nga ipahatod ni ni ang ilang ilim nung makahubog nga nagatidad og 1,200 pesos nga gi-order gikan sa iya ha. Ni abono sa iya nga kaugalingon kwarta ang delivery rider isip bayad sa item. Namatik na usab sa rider nga ang dinakpan maura usab ang buyer sa inminong makahubog. Gumikan kay wa man midawat sa item. Nagduda ang delivery rider og nasuta nga tubig di ay ang sod sa basiyo sa mao nga ilim noon. Nadakpan ni noon si Malinaw human nga gitre sa rider ang iya nga Pinoy anan. Nasayran nga notado na sa giingong ni ining mudos ang suspek o giingong aduna kini laing kuyog. Mga kanto ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang atong Sairi Corinda Isyate karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat.
of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. It is always with gratitude in our hearts, my dear brothers and sisters, that we are gathered to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, which is the highest form of prayer as well as thanksgiving to God. We especially thank the Lord for His great love for all of us. It's actually what we are celebrating this season of Lent. As we are close to the celebration of the Holy Week and eventually to the Easter, we continue to ask the Lord for special graces so that indeed we would persevere in our penances during this season of Lent. Also... We are offering this Mass for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthday and anniversary today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration. Also, we pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you. And look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleanse from the stain of their sins, that may persevere in holy living, and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him, My covenant with you is this, You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make you nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages of an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan, as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you, 
must keep my commandment throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord. Descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death? Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my father who glorifies me, of whom you say, he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, 
I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. We all know, many brothers and sisters, that we are very close to the celebration of the Holy Week. This coming Sunday, we will already be celebrating Palm Sunday, which is the beginning of the Holy Week. It is the first day of the Holy Week. And as we are nearing the Holy Week, as we are, you know, ending our journey during this season of Lent, it is also becoming clear to us why Jesus really was killed by his fellow Jews. And that is through our readings, especially the gospel readings that we have for this week, the fifth week of Lent. For your information, our gospel readings are coming from the Gospel of St. John. And mostly we heard conversations between Jesus and his fellow Jews. And on those conversations that he had with his fellow Jews, he was trying to tell them that he is the one who is being sent by the Father. He is telling them that he is the Messiah and that the Father in him are one, that he knows the Father and the Father knows him. That is what we have heard actually in our gospel reading of today. So it is for this reason that the Jews were trying to kill Jesus. And we know that eventually he would be killed. My dear brothers and sisters, as we are coming into the end of the Lent, let us try our very best to really know Jesus. Who is really Jesus to you? How do you relate to him? Because if you don't have enough knowledge of Jesus, if you do not really know him, and if he is not there in our life as well as in our heart, and if we don't constantly open our heart to him, we would find it very hard to, you know, accept the, 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 the things that are happening in our life. And then we would not find meaning in the things that we are doing this season of Lent. From the very beginning, we were always told that we have to do something during the season of Lent. We have to fast, we have to abstain, we have to pray, we have to also do the stations of the cross, we have to give alms to the poor, we have to give drink to the thirsty, food to the hungry, visit the sick, visit the imprisoned, and so on and so forth. All of this would be without meaning if we don't really know who Jesus is. We remember that Jesus died for all of us. Jesus died because of his great love for us. If we truly know that, we would, we would do everything as our act of gratitude to him. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us try to intensify the things that we are doing, all for our gratitude to Jesus, who truly loves you and me. The Lord's covenant with Abraham 
is perfected in the new covenant that Jesus established at the Last Supper. Let us pray that the Lord will show us his steadfast love because of the covenant. Your response, Lord, help us to be faithful. Lord, help us to be faithful. Lord, you made a covenant of peace with Abraham and his descendants. Grant that we may live in peace and tranquility in our days. We pray. Lord, help us to be faithful. You told Abraham that he would be the father of all nations. Grant that peoples may belong to Jesus Christ and become Abraham's descendants and heirs according to the promise. We pray. Lord, help us to be faithful. Abraham rejoiced to see the day of the Messiah and Savior. Let us be close to Jesus as he suffers for our salvation. We pray. Lord, help us to be faithful. Jesus died to destroy our death and rose again to restore our life. May we die to our sinful selves and live as a new creation through the sacrament of baptism. We pray. Lord, help us to be faithful. Whoever keeps Jesus' word will never see death. Give to our departed brothers and sisters the joy of an ending life. We pray. Lord, help us to be faithful. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to participate in the paschal mysteries of your Son and be saved through them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory. Oh, 
Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountable holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together, Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection in all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Of mercy in us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, in all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, though we pray, from every evil. Grizzly grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yours. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you, peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Nourished by your 
saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Bow your head and pray for God's blessings. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family.